my name is Sam Kevraj Okade, and today I will be talking about how to optimize your weightlifting regimen and get the most out of your gym routine. So why would you want to change up your current regimen? Maybe you've hit a plateau, which is a, a period of stagnant, non-muscle development. Maybe you found something new and exciting, and you want to find a way to incorporate that into your gym split in a safe way. And maybe the current split you're on isn't optimized for your fitness goals. Maybe you want to lose weight, or build muscle mass, or build muscle strength. And the current split you're doing isn't doing that for you. Personally, I've hit plateaus and educated myself in order to optimize my personal gym splits. There are a couple constants you need to talk about when you're talking about any of these gym splits that will, that will be included in any of them. So nutrition here is very important and it refers to the amount of carbohydrates and proteins we intake directly before and after any workout session. Downtime here is the 48 hours required for protein synthesis to occur. So when you destroy muscle fibers with a workout session, you need to wait 48 hours before you target that same muscle again. And cardio is an essential part of any uh, gym split, and it is made up of high-intensity interval training, such as Tabata or Pilates, and low-intensity steady state, such as jogging or swimming. So when we divide up the body, we divide it up into six muscle groups. This is the chest, the triceps, the back, biceps, legs, and shoulders. And it's important to know that all these muscle groups are made up of smaller muscles. For example, the chest is comprised of the pectoralis major and the pectoralis minor. So a full body split aims to target every single muscle group in any given workout. So this takes a lot of information and foresight and planning because you cannot target the same muscles in the same 48 hour period because of downtime. So for example, these two subsequent days would be two days of a full body split. The first day you would do, for example, your chest would include your barbell bench press, which targets the pectoralis major. And the second day would target your um, pectoralis minor and doing a butterfly press. So although you are targeting the same muscle group with subsequent sessions, you're not targeting the same muscle. On the other end of things, you have the bro split, which aims to target every single muscle within a muscle group on one day. So for example, on Monday, you would hit every single exercise for your chest and the proper downtime would be accrued over the next week because the next day you would hit your chest again would be the next Monday. It's important to know here that we usually group arms together, so biceps and triceps are grouped together to make a full workout session. A push-pull leg split, split aims to group muscles based on their muscle function. So eccentric muscle movement is when a muscle is being elongated or pushed away from you as the exercise is being made. So an example of that would be a barbell bench press. Concentric muscle movement is when the muscle is being shortened and, or pulling when it is being exercised. So an example of that would be a barbell curl. Uh, so for these reasons, we group chest and triceps together on a push day and back and biceps together on a pull day. And it is important to note that uh, legs and shoulders are versatile enough that they can be done and worked out with eccentric and concentric muscle movement. So that's why we group them together. So here you have a three day PPL split with a rest day and then it is being repeated again. So the proper amount of downtime is being reached because there are four days in between any given session. So which split should you choose? If your aim is to gain gym expertise and optimize any given gym session, you should pick the full body split. It's important to know that this gym split is not meant for beginners. If your aim is to start and maintain a new gym regimen and develop muscle mass, you should go for a bro split. And if your aim is to build muscle strength, you should go for a PPL split. My personal recommendation is a three day PPL split throughout the week, intermixed with two high intensity interval training classes, one rest day, and then one low intensity steady state. Thank you.